In this tutorial we are going to take a look at how to create a new project in Inroads. First we need to go to Power Inroads Tools and we need to select Explorer Show Height. And in this case we will get a window where we will have some tools and where we will create the actually project. But before we start creating the project, we need to activate some tools. So we need to go into Tools and select Customize. And in this case, we want to select the horizontal elements. So just need to mark the horizontal elements. And also we need to select the vertical elements. So in this case we have the vertical elements up here and you can see that this is the tools for the vertical elements if you put the cursor on top and then at the bottom part right here you can see that it says that it's for vertical geometry whereas we have the toolbar down here, this is for the horizontal geometry. But in this case we'll create a new geometry project so we'll go to File and we will select New and make sure that you are next to Geometry and the type of project or the type of geometry that you want to create is a geometry project and you will need to give it a name and also you might want to add a description and afterwards you select apply and now we have created a geometry project inside of the geometry project we may have several horizontal and also several vertical alignments so let's say in this case I want to create a 50 km road and also one 30 km road in this case I will start by creating a horizontal alignment for the 50 km road so if you select next to type, you select a horizontal alignment and in this case I will give it a name so I'm able to recognize that this is the 50 km road. In this case we will keep the style as default and also the curve definition as an arc and then we'll se select apply. For this 50 km road we also need to have a vertical alignment so again we need to go to type and we will select vertical alignment I will keep the name and also the description also the style I will keep to default but for the curve definition we will select circular and then select apply and just say ok to this message right here And in this case we can see that we have now created a project which is called Sundgårdsvej and inside of this project I now have a 50 km road and this 50 km road we have a vertical alignment attached to it. So next I want to create a 30 km road so I'll just go back and set the type to a horizontal alignment and I will edit the name to 30 km road and keep the other settings select apply and next I want to create a vertical alignment for this 30 km road so go up and select vertical alignment and again we want to change the curve definition to circular and select apply and yes to this and basically if you have several other roads you need to create a horizontal and also a vertical alignment for each of the roads. In this case I've just closed the window and now we can see that we have also a 30 km road and for this 30 km road we have a vertical alignment as well. 
just in case that you want to add a road at a later stage, you can go up and activate the project. You can see that it's now marked. This is We have a red area around the project, meaning that we are active within the project. But in case you're not active within this project, you need to right click and then you need to select set active and then you will be active within the project. But in case you want to add horizontal alignments and vertical alignments for other roads, you need to right click up here, select new, and again you can select that you want to create a new horizontal and a new vertical alignment. In this case I just want to make sure that I save the files correctly, so I need to go to file and then I want to save the project. I can either select the project as a whole or in this case I will just select the geometry project. So I will select geometry project and if I just go one step up to my inroads folder. In this case the geometry project is defined as an ALD file. So I have created a folder for an ALD file. And if I just type in the name, and now I'm able to save the project. So in this case, I can actually see that the file is now saved, but for some reason Inroads doesn't shut down the window after saving the project. So I just need to click on the cross on the upper right corner to get out of the command. But this is the principle of how you create a new project in inroads and also how you how you create new horizontal and new vertical alignments.